Audi. Hey, you are you ready? Are you ready for some good news? First up, Adi, you're going to love this one, I'm telling you. Physicists in Japan may have discovered new insights into why our universe is made of matter. The question of how matter came to dominate the physical universe is one that physicists have been exploring for decades. According to the most widely accepted model, immediately following the Big Bang, the universe contained equal amounts of matter and antimatter. The two should have annihilated each other, leaving a universe containing only light and energy. But obviously, that didn't happen. Somehow, an imbalance must have been created, enabling enough matter to survive annihilation to allow the universe as we know it to develop. But what caused the imbalance? Scientists working on the T2K experiment in Japan may have an answer. After studying neutrino oscillations, the T2K team has found evidence that neutrinos are created by radioactive decay at slightly higher rates than antineutrinos. This could have caused the matter-antimatter imbalance without which the universe as we know it, which includes us, would not exist. And by the way, this tiny imbalance occurred mere moments following the Big Bang. The possibility of our very existence, not to mention the course of the universe itself, was determined by an unfathomably brief event that took place almost at the instant of creation. And thanks to science, we can learn something about that event 13.8 billion years later. The findings of the T2K team were presented over the weekend at the International Conference on High Energy Physics in Chicago. So what would you think of that? No? Not interested in the Big Bang? Well, what about black holes? You want to hear about black holes? I got a story about black holes. Well, I'm going to tell it anyway. Conventional wisdom, if there is such a thing when it comes to this subject, says that matter that is pulled into a black hole is destroyed when it reaches the gravitational singularity at the center. But researchers at the Institute of Corpuscular Physics, what an awesome name for a scientific institute, in Valencia, Spain, have published a new study suggesting that black holes may have a back door through which matter which enters then exits on the other side. The other side of what? So glad you asked. The theory proposed by the researchers utilizes new space-time geometries to describe the center of a black hole not as a singularity, but as a wormhole, where the forces exerted on matter are not infinite, as they appear to be when viewed from the outside, but merely incredibly intense. To an outside observer, it would appear that any matter entering the black hole was destroyed, when in fact, it has exited the wormhole and re-emerged in another region of the universe. This theory may not be correct, of course, but it does resolve several problems encountered when studying black holes using general relativity, including the singularity at the center and the need for exotic energy sources in order to generate wormholes. The study is published in the journal Classical and Quantum Gravity. Okay, so astrophysics isn't your thing. What about material science? For instance, did you know that researchers are working on a way to build circuits out of liquid metal? Researchers at RMIT University's School of Engineering are studying how to use metals that exist in a liquid state at relatively low temperatures, such as gallium, to construct soft circuit systems that function less like conventional solid-state electronics and more like living cells. The team has already devised a simple method that enables droplets of liquid metal to move autonomously through water. All that's necessary is a precise manipulation of the chemistry of the surrounding fluid, and the liquid metal droplets can be made to move, change shape, and function as switches, all without the need for external mechanical or electrical stimulation. We're still a long way from building a T-1000, which might be a good thing, actually, but it's a start. The study is published in the journal Nature Communications. New theories offer a better understanding of why the universe is dominated by matter and the inner workings of black holes, and scientists work on building electronics out of liquid metal. That's the good news. 
Hey folks, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also please consider helping us to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash Steve Shives to become a patron of this channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time, won't we, Adi Kings? She says yes. <laughs>